welcome back to day number three of Halloween Beer Week here on the channel. 2022 edition. This here episode, I'm featuring one from the Wolf's Ridge Brewing Company out of Columbus, Ohio. This here is simply called Slice. Simply a pumpkin ale is what they're calling. It's a style pumpkin ale. ABV, 6.5%. IBU, 15. So I featured Wolf's Ridge Brewing a few different times uh, here on the channel recently. And they always list, at least everything I've had from them, the ABV and the IBU on the can, which I just like to have that information. I don't know why I do. I just do, right? Um, so it does have some reading on the back. Of course, it says store cold, enjoy fresh. And this is, uh, I think it's just a couple months old. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, it says uh, packaged uh, September 12th of 22. Oh, yeah, man, it's not even that. It's just a couple weeks old, actually, at the time of this recording. So, slice, like a slice of pie, I guess. Uh, you got the orange, uh, you know, Halloween pumpkin type of color going on. The wolf is just their logo. It's nothing to do with uh, Halloween or anything like that. The back of the can says almost 1,000 pounds of pumpkin goes into making slice. Holy caramel forward and multi-rich beer. We then season our pie with fresh ginger, cinnamon, vanilla, and nutmeg. A hint of molasses offers complexity and the right dash of sweetness. Actually, I didn't even read any of that when I first picked up the cans. First time I actually read it there. Man, that sounds damn tasty. And this was only $2.50 a can. I picked it up at uh, the uh, Barrel House in uh, Dayton, Ohio. So I'm going to use the uh, New Holland Brewing Filthy Pumpkin glass. It's really one of the only Halloween glasses that I have, really. I need to try to pick up some more. At least the time of this recording it is. So I'm going to crack this thing open. We're going to get a pour on this. We're going to see. Is it going to have pumpkin pie seasonal? spices that I can pick up uh, in the nose. We'll get it all in this uh, glass here. Get that can back up there so you can see slice right there. So yeah, it looks like a pumpkin beer. That's usually the darker uh, ambery color. Uh, about a finger of just a, a off white to a, maybe a mild tan uh, color to this. There are some larger uh, bubbles popping in there. I just popped a big bunch of them right there. But overall, there's also a frothiness uh, around the bubbles in this head right here. Recently rinsed glass there. So not a lot of, uh, you know, dirty specks there on the side. So you look at that right there. Looks like a pumpkin beer, right? Looks just like one, okay? Nose. Okay, I can get the spices. So if you've watched the channel, you followed my reviews, you know I'm not a huge uh, ginger person. And I get a lot of ginger. I get a good amount of ginger in the nose here. I also pick up some nutmeg. Not a whole lot of cinnamon. Not a crazy amount of pumpkin either. So, hmm, now this has really got me curious, so... The nose, not, not overly excited uh, after getting a whiff of that, but hey, let's see what it tastes like. Okay. All right. A thinner bodied beer. You can def definitely, definitely tell that there's molasses and a, a caramel molasses thing going on here. I'm going to tell you, for a pumpkin L, it's kind of mild on the pumpkin. The pumpkin is definitely not overwhelming in this one.
decent carbonation, decent uh, prickliness on the tongue. All right, a bit of a sweetness, faint vanilla, faint pumpkin, more so a gingery, and the more I drink of it, a gingery, caramelly, molasses kind of maltier forward type of um malt forward type of uh, thing going on in this right here so definitely not crazy over the top delicious and i'm gonna when i first started drinking craft beer six seven eight years ago and i really didn't know what i was doing and I really still don't know what I'm doing. Um, it took me a while to come around to Oktoberfest lagers, and it took me even longer to come around to pumpkin beers. Uh, now I think I've developed a pretty good uh, taste for both styles. And pumpkin beer, it's not always my favorite. I actually like pumpkin, so I actually do like to be able to taste uh, a good amount of pumpkin, a good amount of... the the seasoning, the, the, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the spices and stuff like that that go into what makes a pumpkin pie really good and flavorful, in my opinion. This falls a little short um, in that aspect. Uh, you know, it's an Ohio brewery, so I do want to feature one here on the channel. And I was hoping uh, for, uh, you know, ju just a little bit more on the pumpkin. Um, as far as I'm going to do like I did at my Oktoberfest beers, it's going to be like a four is going to be like my, if it's a four for the style, it's it's good. I can I can drink it again, no problem. Um, and I'm going to punch this in at just about the 3.75 um, out of five. Uh, I wish it had more pumpkin. I wish that I could get a little bit more of the vanilla coming through. It's just not there. Doesn't mean that I hate it, you know. Um, it's, it was a great, uh, you know, it was great to try it. Um, this is one I haven't had before, and um, that's about all I can say about it. 3.75 out of 5. Um, you know, drop a comment down there. Uh, what's your, what, what kind of pumpkin beers do you like? What are you drinking this year? And like always, like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell down there. If you are a subscriber, I appreciate it very much, and uh, thanks for watching.